Hello. No. Hello. Um, I want to make some dowels, some very small dowels, um, this sort of size. Um, I've made a few, and so I thought you might be interested in seeing how I've made them. Um, I've, I'm going to do this video. It's going to be DIY. It's not an engineer's, an engineering video, um, because most people that want to make an odd-sized dowel <laughs> aren't engineers. So all you engineers, forgive me for being a bit um, DIY. Um, I've got here a piece of steel that is a, a roughly um, a centimetre thick, or three eighths, or not quite half an inch. Um, um, and I'm going to show you how, how I do it. Um, as you can see, I've, I've made several and they're all different sizes. Um, I start off with a piece of chalk, and the reason why I'll chalk that, you haven't got to chalk it, but the reason I've chalked it is only so that I can see the, the centre punch hole that I'm going to make. Right, you, and you need a centre punch, um, uh, a set of drills uh, up to the size that you want. Um, so basically a pilot hole and then get bigger and bigger. Anyway, let's get on. Um, you Obviously you haven't all got a centre punch, so I've just got a, a nail. And all you're looking for is to make a something so that the drill don't slip about all over the place. You could, you could, if you didn't even have a nail, you could use a bit of tape. And you could stick the bit of tape on and that is enough just to get the drill started um, and, 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 and not slip about. So first things first then, what we've got to do is drill a pilot hole. Now any small drill to start with and if you're drilling don't drill too fast just drill very slowly um, right that's made a start and we want a bit of lubricant and off we go And we're not drilling too fast because all, if you drill fast, all you do is create and heat. Um, a little bit more lubricant. The drills do need to be sharp. This one could be a bit sharper, I think. I have drilled quite a few holes with this drill and I think it wants just a little bit of a touch up. But there we go, it is DIY. Oh, and we're nearly through. Give me a little bit more lube. And then that should do. There you go. So that's through. Then we move up. You can move up to whatever size as long as it's slightly bigger. And oh, a little bit of put a bit of lube on the drill this time. And off we go again. Now obviously this time you're not putting any pressure on because the drill wants to bite and pull itself through anyway. And it's taken a quite large chunk. There we 
we go and we're through then we go up to the next size and give the drill a bit of a squirt another squirt in there and then this time it's going to bite quite hard so hopefully this drill is powerful enough to to do the job As you can see, um, I've got a perfectly good vice here that I could be putting this in, um, but I'm showing this DIY, so that's what these four big nails are for, to hold that all in place. And I suppose if I could cramp that, I would cramp it as well. But it is DIY, and I'm showing you can do it like this. And I'm through. Right, now the last one, um, because you might not have a powerful battery drill, I'm going to show you with just an ordinary uh, electric drill, you know, plugged, in, plugged into the mains that, that, that you can't control the speed of um, because um, you don't, for drilling steel, you don't want to be drilling too fast. So, um, so what I'll do is just do it in jerks. Okay, so there we go. That's given us our thing, our drill through, and then that's given us a bit of a burr on that side. Now we want that burr because what we're going to do is this is the bit of timber we're going to use for our for our for, to make the dowel. So we're going to put that on the on the hole we just drilled give it a smite and as you can see it's gripped and then that, that's given us our circle that we're gonna where we're gonna be working on <laughs> that's point there the circle that we're gonna be working on you can just probably just see it there let's do it like that then. let's go so chop Now, I would put this in the voice, but you 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 might not have one, so I've got to show you it without putting it in the voice, haven't I? <sighs> right, just get it started. That's all. What we want now is we need um, a, a lead on to get it to start in the and then we're going to trim it to suit. Right, so let's that's the right way up. We're going to go in like so. And that's giving us a start, okay? 
Um, then to finish it off, we might as well have that the way now. To 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 um, to bang it on through, all you need, all you need is something that's got a got, got a hole in it, a bit something solid that's got a hole in it. I mean, I could put this in the voice, but then you might not have a voice. So that's why I'm going to do it like this. Right now, then, we've made a start. I'm going to take that back out now. Oops. Oh, there we go. Right now, I can trim that. Oh, my daisy. I can now trim that to to suit, can't I? So. Perhaps some sort of holding device might be useful, but just like that. So we get it down to almost the size. Being careful, of course, <coughs> not to put this chisel too close to my fingers. Right, now that's almost the size. I reckon that will now drive through there. And now I use a mallet, this to, to do the the actual dowel, a hammer, is just that more meaty. So basically the secret of this, the whole of this is, is simply drive your wedge, drive your dowel through a piece of steel. Now when we get near the end, when we get near the end, we don't want to we don't want to strike this hammer down onto the bit of steel. If you're going to make more than one dowel, you want you want to preserve the 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 bit of um, whatever we want to call it <laughs> the the bit of frass, if you like. That's there. Right, so there we go. And then that last little bit, what we want is to flush it down. And then the last little bit through a bit of the last the last dowel we made. There we go. And then through it comes. Oh, I've dropped it. Yeah, dropped it too and lost it right and there we go that's it made look at that and that's as neat as ninepence I'm happy with that in fact in fact that's such a good one I've already not get two here that anyway there we go do have a nice day <laughs>